Hi guys, it's Misty here from Bookaholics Book Club. Uh, I'm actually doing uh, my first showcase Sunday in quite some time. I can't even remember the last time I vlogged. I've just been busy, <laughs> is my excuse. But uh, yeah, I've decided to start doing showcase Sundays again and more vlog, try and do some more vlogs. So this is actually the books that I've got on for the last month. I'm going to do a monthly run rather than every week since I don't get as many books as I used to. So anyway, here are the books that I got throughout April. So firstly, I'll start with books that I received for review. Uh, first, I got Young, Gifted and Dead by Lucy Carver. Uh, this one was from Lee Millen. Uh, I should be getting book two as well, so I'm going to wait for that one and read the two. It's set in a boarding school where there's a lot of mem uh, memory? A lot of mystery and there's a suspicious death. It sounds uh, very cool. I think it might be to do with uh, vampires or something like that. So the title kind of gives it up. It's a very uh, cool cover as well. Uh, the next one, oh, this is actually two I received together. It's Cracks and Fragments by Caroline Green. This is a dystopia type series. I don't know if it's just the two books or if there's going to be another one. I haven't read too much about it. But it does sound good. I've been reading a lot of dystopia the last few months. So I definitely had to say yes to these. Um, I can't tell you much more. I don't, can't remember what it's about. Uh, the next one is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Uh, this one sounds really good. This is written... It's about a girl uh, and she writes letters to dead people such as Kurt Cobain, Heath Ledger, River Phoenix, uh, a lot of other people. She's like, it's, she set it as a task in class where they have to write a letter to a dead person but then she continues sort of in private doing it and venting out her feelings and talking to people. And I guess it tells a story from there. It just sounds very good. Um, it's actually blurbed by Ch Stephen Chobsky, the author of The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I've literally just read, which is also written in letter form, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to pick this up, plus it has such a pretty, pretty cover. So I'm going to give that one a go soon. And the last one that I received I'm really excited about, Savage Drift by Emmy Laybourne. This is the third and final book in the Monument 14 trilogy. I really enjoyed the first two, so I've been waiting and waiting for the email about this one and got it straight away. So I was going to read it next, but there's other stuff that i got to read. But I'm definitely getting to this very soon. Uh, next, I got a couple of books uh, that were gifts. I got... Donna from over at Book Passion for Life came in this really cool little Easter thing with the Easter egg and some wine and a book, of course. Uh, Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. This is by Rachel Cohen and David Levithan. I read uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which I really enjoyed, and I've read quite a few David Levithan books, so I am really excited for this. I didn't even know what it's about. I just like the author, so it's one that went straight onto my wish list, and I'm excited to have it. And then the other one, this actually came today. This is Resistance by Jenna Black. My lovely, lovely boyfriend bought this for me. He bought me the first book a couple of months ago, which is called Replica, and I read that and enjoyed it. And then this one came out a couple of weeks ago, so he got me book two as well. Uh, the first one is set in a dystopian future where it's kind of big businesses are in charge of everything. And uh, it's about a girl and a boy, and the boy dies, but because his dad is quite prominent and who's actually the creator of replicas, he's brought back as a replica, so it's kind of people can live, well, forever, because you can always be have a replica made. So it's about them then trying to find his killer and uncovering a whole other conspiracy. It was a very fun book, so I'm looking forward to book two. And then I bought a few books this month or so. I bought An Abundance of Catherines by John Green and another John Green book, Looking for Alaska. I discovered John Green like a few weeks ago. I read, finally read The Fault in Our Stars because the film is coming out and they released the trailer and I was interested so, and so many people go out about it. So I got it on Kindle and read that and loved that. So then I got Paper Towns right after and read that and really enjoyed that. So I've picked up these other two books because I already have Will Grayson, Will Grayson because that's also David Levithan. So I'm going to be reading these when I get a chance. I've heard that Looking for Alaska is really good. I don't really know what they're about. Sort of an autobi author now, so I'll just buy anything that is written. Then next I also bought Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I've been seeing this one around a lot. 
and her other book Eleanor and Park I think is being made into a movie I have that on the way so when I saw this I picked this up as well I'm not can't really remember what it's about I really should investigate before I would make a video but it's about a girl uh, she writes fan fiction and I guess she wants to more live in that make-believe world than the real world but it does sound like a lot of fun and then the next couple I got I got Dust City by Robert Paul Weston uh, I picked this up I'd never heard of it before but I'm going to an event next week and this author is going to be there so I want to have something to have signed uh, this is about a young boy he's actually the son of the big bad wolf so he gets a lot of stigma from that uh, and I guess it just makes his life very difficult because of who his dad is so it does actually sound like a lot of fun uh, I'm going to try and read it before I meet the author but I'm not completely sure if I'll have time because I'm going to another event next week uh, which is why I've bought this one Dreams of Gods and Monsters by is it Lani or Laney Taylor I'm not sure how you pronounce her name this book is so big the cover is so pretty but yeah, um, I'm going to an event of hers next week, but I haven't read book two yet, so I'm currently reading book two, and then I'm going to try and read book three before then. And I bought this actually to get signed at her event, but it turns out that it is actually already signed. Uh, I didn't realise the first print editions uh, are special editions that are signed and have this exclusive picture that the author drew. So that was, you know, a nice cool surprise, but it's going to be awkward when I want to get it signed I'm thinking I'll just get her to personalise it so yeah I'm not going to buy another copy but anyway yeah, that is all the books that I've gotten over the last few weeks uh, please link and let me know what you got uh, just video link if you make your own vlog about Showcase Sunday or in my mailbox or whatever you call it uh, and I'll come and check out what you got if you're on the blog there'll be links to all the books on Goodreads if, so you can read what they're about since I wasn't particularly clear on a lot of them but yeah comment link whatever and I will shall see you next month when I do another video bye